My name is Steve Bynum, and I'm a teacher. I teach, uh, you know, kids from grades one to six. Uh, currently teaching a grade two, three class. But what I do when I'm not teaching is I like to draw and create stories, and also report on comic books and geek culture and, and, and things like that. So that takes up most of my time. So I'm a huge fan of comic books. Um, I think my cousins, uh, Peter and Spencer, they were a little bit older than I was, and they always bought comic books, and I would sneak off and read theirs. Um, they liked Iron Man and Thor and the Avengers and Superman, and they got me into comic books when I was a kid, probably about six or seven, and I fell in love with Spider-Man. Um, even before I was reading their comic books, um, and I was drawing, apparently according to my mom, when I was three or so. So um, Spider-Man, I think, is the first thing I remember drawing. And from then, I've loved comic books. Uh, I have, I guess, a pretty big collection. And that, that love of comic books got me into being a teacher, studying English in university. And after reading comic books for a few decades, I also wanted to make them. And I was in a studio here in Toronto, and it didn't work out, but the relationships that I forged and the friendships that I've made with the guys that were in that studio have lasted almost two decades, maybe even longer, and we still collaborate on things. In between one of the downtimes when we were working, we weren't working together, I decided, why don't I just go ahead and make my own comics? Uh, I loved Spider-Man, I loved Superman, and I loved the fact that the tales that I was reading as a kid were basically modern mythology. Um, the Hercules, the Hermes, Zeus, Odin, Thor, they were all represented in the different characters that I was reading uh, in those comic books. And so I decided why not make up my own. Trying to break into comic books and into the world of pop culture can be difficult. And with all these ideas swimming around in my head and stories that I wanted to tell, I decided to go the self-publishing route. And to do that, I created my own company called Bobo Creative. And through that, that's the portal through which I do Comics Asylum, I publish Chronicari Alpha, and I publish Edge, East of the Paradise. And what it allowed me to do is it allowed me to kind of live a dream. I love drawing, I love writing, and this allows me to kind of do it on my own terms.